What is Summerlin West? And that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my Summerlin series. And in this series, I'm going to be going over Summerlin West and what entails in Summerlin West. If you haven't already, I've already done a video on Summerlin North and Summerlin South. So the goal of this video is to go over a timeline as to when each of the villages and um, schools or whatever was developed in Summerlin West. Okay, as you know, Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in the Las Vegas Valley with over 22,000 acres spanning along the west side of the valley, part of north, part of south, and west. It's this big chunk um, and it's the largest, awesomest master plan community here in the valley. HOAs in Summerlin West are $48 a month. And if you live in a gated community, then you would have an additional HOA on top of the $48 a month. You'll have one for the gated community and one for Summerlin West Association. And Summerlin West has a lot of new developments. It's gonna be one of the bigger um, associations compared to North and South soon. I mean, it still has probably another 15 to 20 years to grow and they call it the uh, Summerlin West Gateway. So the villages that are in Summerlin West are the Vistas, the Paseos, Stonebridge, and now Red Point and Red Point Square. Expect more to come in the future. I don't know the future names of these new villages, but there are more to come. Eventually, there are about 5,000 acres left in Summerlin West to be developed, and eventually from Lake Mead all the way to Far Hills, there will be homes right now there's there's working on it with the red point square village but soon because at lake mead and the 215 you have um reverence and then past summerlin far hills between far hills and charleston from the 215 you have the paseos village the vistas village and stonebridge village and then past Far Hills on the north side of Far Hills off of 215 is Red Point and Red Point Square Village. So that's all the villages that are currently in Summerlin West. Now Summerlin West zip code is 89138 for your information, just in case you needed to know that. So now I'm gonna go over a timeline as to when all of these villages in Summerlin West were developed. And the first village was the Vistas Village and that was developed in 2000. Then you had the Vistas Community Park, the North Tower and South Tower Park developed in 2002. Then the Paseos was developed in 2003. The Paseos Park 2003. The Vistas Community Center and Pool was developed in 2016. Um, then Reference by Pulte Homes was developed in 2017. Stonebridge in 2017. Fox Hills Park in the Paseos Village was developed in 2018. And then you have Red Point and Red Point Square started being developed in 2020. Wow, that's it. <laughs> Not a lot in, in Summerlin West as of yet. You know, obviously, like I said, there's another 15 years, another 5,000 acres to go. I'm excited to learn as we progress with the Summerlin Master Plan community. Right now, it's not that it's not the biggest village, but most of the homes are a lot newer. I think the Paseo stopped developing 2016 or 2017 ish. Then you have Stonebridge that's newer, and then now obviously we have Red Point, Red Point Square. So the amenities and parks that are in Summerlin West, I'm going to go in alphabetical order. Is that you have the Fox Hills Park, the North Tower Park, the Paseos Park, South Tower Park, and the Vistas Park, and then in that Summerlin West section, you have the Vistas Community Center and Pool. If you haven't noticed, most associations or sections of Summerlin, like Summerlin North, um, Summerlin South, and now Summerlin West, have their Community Center and Pool. You have the Trails Village Center and Community Center and Pool. You have uh, the Willows Community Center and Pool, and then now the Vistas Community Center and Pool. And then there are a couple of other pools um, in the Summerlin Villages throughout 
Now, if you want to learn more about each of these villages, like the Vistas, Viseos, etc., I've done a video on each of them. I'll post a link down in the description below. Right now, again, it's not that big of a village to go over, but I think it's important to understand how Summerlin is split up. Now, Summerlin is split up into three associations, actually technically four. You have Summerlin North, Summerlin West, Summerlin South, and then Summerlin Center is part of a different association. So um, on my website, also, if you want to learn more about these different associations, you can go to www.summerlincommunities.com. And if you scroll down on the front page, I have it separated by Summerlin North, West, and South, or Summerlin North, South, and West, yada, yada. I have that all information right there at your fingertips. Well, that wraps up Summerlin West for now. Um, and I think, you know, the HOA for Summerlin is very reasonable. $48 a month? Wow. There's other communities, master plan communities, are just like little communities that have HOAs that are a lot more than $48 a month. And just think of all the amenities that you have access to. Now, I mentioned in my previous videos, just because maybe you live in the Summerlin West Association doesn't mean you can't check out the Trails Village Center or the um, Willows Community Center pool. As long as you have a Summerlin address, you can go to any of those community centers. Why not, right? <laughs> if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button because I like to talk a lot about Summerlin if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.